Writing the Iconological Analysis What is Iconology and how is it related to iconography? In an iconological analysis, we want to identify the symbols or the iconography, understand the meaning of each symbol, and understand how the imagery communicates a larger or more abstract idea. But what is iconography? The word comes from the Greek. Icon means image, grapho means to write or draw. Icon plus grapho or iconography is how an artist uses imagery to create meaning. Iconology is the study, logos, of iconography. So how does this work? Traditionally, the process is broken into three steps. Step 1. Determine the natural or obvious subject matter and recognize the most basic choices the artist has made. What are the main motif and details? Is there a setting? What is it? What is the compositional structure of the work? How has the artist used the formal elements of art, color, shape, line, and texture? Does the work have an obvious feeling or expression? Let's try step one with these two works. Take a moment and determine the obvious subject. What formal elements do you see? What feeling do you get from the art? The motif in both works is a couple, possibly husband and wife. They wear elaborate and expensive clothing. The settings include furniture. Both works show natural light, the sun or sunlight coming through a window. They share a sense of calm or contentment. Written text appears in the background. Many details differ. Ancient Egypt sandstone fragment carved in sunken relief, ambiguous setting, three children, stylized figures, intimate and natural interactions. Early Renaissance, oil painting on oak panel, interior setting with bed, dog in foreground, shoes on floor, illusionistic technique. Step 2. Connect the imagery to specific subject matter and symbolism. It may take some research to identify figures, learn about the narrative, and discover the meanings of the symbols. Who are the figures being portrayed? What is the narrative, history, or myth being shown? Which details are symbolic, and what do the symbols mean? Was there a patron who commissioned the object? Shall we try step two on the steel of Akhenaten, Nefertiti, and daughters blessed by solar disk? Specific subject, Pharaoh Amenhotep IV, Akhenaten, reigned 1352 to 1338 BCE, and his great wife Nefertiti. Symbolism, solar disk representing the one god Aten, sun's rays end with Ankh form, giving couple the breath of life. Relevant history, Pharaoh of 18th dynasty, New Kingdom, instituted monotheistic worship of the sun deity Aten, renamed self Akhenaten, challenged power of the priesthood, moved capital from Thebes to Akhetaten, now Tel El Amarna. Art historical considerations, steel probably used as a home altar, sandstone carved with sunken relief, increased naturalism along with stylization and elongation different from Egyptian canon of proportion. How about step two on the Arnolfini portrait? Specific subject, believed to be Giovanni Arnolfini and his wife or fiance Giovanna Cinami. Latin signature on the wall translates as Jan van Eyck was here, 1434. Symbolism, dog, fidelity, discarded shoes, sacredness of place and moment, burning candle, all seeing wisdom of God, Fruit on sill, innocence before the fall. Bed and fullness of gown over Giovanna's belly, fertility. Relevant history. Arnolfini was an Italian businessman living in Flanders. Lively exchange of goods, ideas, and art between Italy and the North in the 15th century. 
Van Eyck was famous and worked throughout the Kingdom of Burgundy, now eastern France and Flanders. Art historical considerations. Early Renaissance period. Medium is oil on oak panel. Illusionistic treatment of space and textures. Finally, we come to step three of the iconological analysis. Step three is about the articulation of intrinsic meaning or content. An iconological analysis decodes the message or ideas the artist was trying to communicate. Iconological analysis. The intimate and naturalistic expression of the steel of Akhenaten, Nefertiti, and daughters blessed by solar disk supports the suggestion that it may have been part of an altar in a home. Akhenaten, originally the New Kingdom Pharaoh Amenhotep IV, challenged an entrenched religious structure and powerful priesthood when he established a monotheistic religion focused on Aten, a god symbolized by the sun disk. During the time we call the Amarna period, a distinctive style evolved noted for its elongated figures and exaggerated facial structures. Distortions, including thin limbs and protruding bellies, have been said to suggest a medical condition. The general naturalism of the art might support this. It is more likely, however, that the images are primarily allegorical. The androgynous Akhenaten embodies Aten, who was both father and mother. The unprecedented intimacy of the family scene establishes the pharaoh as a domestic role model. Other scholars have seen the distortions as feline in nature. To them, the figure of Akhenaten evokes the image of the sphinx, and the lion is emblematic of both royalty and the son Aten. Iconological Analysis The subject and meaning of the portrait of Giovanni Arnolfini and his wife Giovanna Cinami has long puzzled scholars. Presumed to be an image of an Italian businessman living in Italy and his wife, the painting has been described as a portrait from life, a posthumous image painted after the death of the wife, and a legal document witnessing either the marriage or the intent of marriage. The painting is notable for the startling illusionism of textures and effects, the bull's eye glass window panes, the gleam of the brass chandelier, garments of wool, linen, and fur, and the reflections in the convex mirror that hangs on the wall at the approximate vanishing point of the picture's orthogonals. The portrait is laden with symbolism. The dog is an emblem of fidelity, and the fruit on the sill reminds us of humanity's innocence before the fall. The burning candle symbolizes the all-seeing wisdom of God, and the discarded shoes the sacredness of that place and moment. The marital bed and fullness of gown Giovanna holds over her abdomen suggest the promise of fertility, although we know that the marriage was ultimately childless. Much of the iconological argument centers on the mirror, which reflects the backs of the couple, the structure and furnishings of the room, and the presence of the artist. The Latin signature on the wall translates as Jan van Eyck was here, 1434. Yet no particular reading of the painting is supported by primary evidence in the form of contemporaneous documents. Let's recapitulate the process of the iconological analysis. Step 1. Figure out the obvious subject matter and itemize the most basic choices the artist has made. Details, style, elements of art, naturalism or abstraction, expressive feeling, and so on. Describe what you see. Step 2. Identify the iconography the specific subject and symbolism of the work. Summarize the narrative, know what the symbols mean, and, if you can, pin down the reasons the object was made. Do your research. Step 3. Put it all together. Explain how all that information joins together to express intrinsic meaning or content. Decide for yourself what message or ideas the artist was trying to communicate. In other words, details and formal elements, plus symbolism, plus facts and historical context, 
constitute iconographical analysis.